Happy Tuesday. With all of my discomfort that I've been feeling, with all the stuff that's happened in my life over the last couple months, the loss of my mother, and you know, just a lot of circumstances. What's happened for me always in the past is that I've looked for a time to set aside and, and kind of reset or go interior, go inside. And that for me has been a Vipassana. It's a meditation course, 10 days, silent meditation course. Do All you do is meditate and you have discourse by the teacher at the end of the evening. Doing another one in a less than a week, I leave. Well, no, actually it starts next Wednesday, but I'm leaving on Monday to help set up. It's Vipassana. I've done a couple in the past and they've been amazingly challenging and inspiring and and interesting. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been looking forward to. And uh, I wouldn't say dreading, but I, you never know what it's gonna happen. You know, I mean, I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I, I mean, I know it's gonna turn out, but, and I know I won't leave, but the experience of being there as amazing and scary and uh, yeah, an opportunity. It'll be the first time in a long time that I haven't done posts, you know, consecutively. So I, there'll be a, probably like a 12 to 14 day period where I won't do any posts and I'll see how I feel when I get back and I'll check in and talk about my experience a little bit. Might be a little bit loopy I definitely come back and re-entry into the chaos of the city and the world is, is interesting, to say the least. If you have any questions, just hit me up and we can talk about it. Over the next couple days, before I leave, I'll include the link to the center if you want to look at it. Uh, it's Vipassana, I think it's .org. check on that so I don't know I don't know I'm looking forward to a reset and to go inside my to look because that when you're there not talking to anybody everything just turns inward and it turns inward you get the stories get loud it's an opportunity I don't know. Maybe they're not, it's not for everybody. Um, but I know that for myself, it's the slow way to, you know, it's the, well, it's the patient way of getting to this next, to connecting. It's an isolation of sorts to just get inside. Because I do, I mean, I crave that I have the desire to, you know, take a drug to get me to the place where I can just plug right in. But I've, I've done that far too often, and I'm not convinced I will uh, be able to step back and join everyone on this path. Because I've been institutionalized, I've been... Yeah, I've had those those challenges and those opportunities to see that way of life. And uh, yeah, so that's what the beauty I've, I've found of meditation. The challenge of just sitting still and seeing what comes up. And the sitting still, and the longer you sit still, you kind of turn up the heat and the elements and the past and the 
experience and the trauma and the joy, everything begins to bubble and you, it rises and you can hold on to it for a minute, look at it and then let it go. That's what's encouraged, not to hold on to it and covet it and oh my God, this feels so good or but this hurts so much, it's never gonna end. Because that's both of those things have, I have experienced, you know, that this pain that I have in this part of my body, it's never gonna end. And just breathing and moving on and scanning the body and ba 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 ba. It's, yeah. More will be revealed and I will report back. So, but that's not happening for another couple days. Um, I'm going to be house sitting, so I'll be still doing these and I don't know. A lot of questions I have for myself and what lies ahead. So, big light, much love.